Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll talk about the difference between map, reduce and filter. So let's begin with map function. So the syntax for map function is like this. So it has two parameters. It, uh, you have to give two parameters. One is function and the other is iterable. So the map function will iterate through all the items in the given iterable and it will execute the function one by one. So that is what a map does. So here's the example I have taken here where list win is an iterable and i'm defining a function with name as function one which is returning i to i which is i square and <clears throat> here i'm declaring map function uh, the where i'm passing function one here as a function and iterable as a list one as map function returns an object we have to pa uh, we have to pack this object in a list or it may be interval i'm just passing a list and if I run this code, then we can see we are getting this output. So at every iteration, what it what it's doing is it's making the square. It's retaining i into i, like 2 into 2, 3 into 3, likewise. So here is the second example I have taken here. Uh, where I have directly passed the function in map function by using the lambda where I'm using the function as lambda x which is giving x into 3 which is multiple of 3 so when I run this code then we can see the we are getting this output which is the list uh, multiple of 3 3 into 1 3 into 2 3 into 3 3 into 4 and then here 3 into 5 so this is the third example uh, whenever we want to change the type of the uh, int uh, to string uh, then we what we usually do is we are iterate we iterate it through the for loop and at every iteration we are changing its type like i equals to string i so instead of doing that we can uh, save lines of code here by just uh, passing map function where i can pass function as a string and here iterable as a range like we can also pass here uh, a list also but i'm using here range just to show and if i run this code now then we can see we are getting this output which is five six seven eight nine but it is in the form of string so the next function is reduce so reduce is a function of punctual module in python which takes two arguments first is a function and other is iterable again so iterable may be its tuple or it may be its list whenever we use reduce function only the one difference is instead of giving another iterable it returns a single value as we see here map function gives us the another iterable but in reduce function we get this single value so uh, whenever we want to use reduce function we have to first import function tools func tools module um, and after as the reduce is a uh, reduce function is for, of functual module is a function of functual module so then again i am uh, declaring here function which is x comma y which is returning x plus y and i am uh, num i am declaring my reduce function here as a num functual dot reduce where i am passing the function add and giving iterable as range 4 to 8 so if i run this code you can see the out we are output we are getting is 22 so the one uh, main uh, concept here is whenever the first call goes to the function uh, the output of the first call comes as in first argument to the reduce function so if i pass 4 to 8 range then we we will have 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 uh, seven uh, numbers so whenever I go, go to this function first call it will add x plus y x is equals to 4 y is equals to 5 so the output I get is 9 so after that the list will become 9 comma 6 uh, 9 comma 6 comma 7 and at this time x will be equals to 9 and y will be equals to 6 so the output we will getting is 9 plus 6 is 15 so now the list will become 15 comma 7 and at this time x will become 15 and y will become as 7 so the output finally we are getting is 15 plus 7 which is equals to 22 and likewise reduce function works in python so and hence we are getting here yeah, output as a 22 we can uh, see the uh, see the uh, working of the function by uh, by debugging the code now the next function that we're going to discuss is filter function. So filter in Python returns boolean value for each iterable 
filter takes two arguments function and iterable let's see an example and then we'll understand it better so this is a function div underscore two which is basically returning true if if the particular number i is divisible by two so that is our function and then we have one list uh, which has 15 12 for uh, 48 13 and so on numbers and then below that uh, uh, we are calling the function filter I mean we, we are calling filter function and um, uh, we are passing two parameters the first one is our function which will return true or false uh, it will return true if it is uh, divisible by two otherwise it will return false we are uh, so we are passing that function and the second parameter is the list so uh, so we'll run uh, run the code And this is the output so as you can see the output is 12 48 100 18 32 basically all the numbers that are divisible by 2 so what it is exactly doing is it will one by one uh, iterate through the entire list and then it will uh, it will check in the given function so it will check in div underscore 2 so if if 15 is divisible by 2 no so it will return false so that value will not be printed then the next is 12 so 12 uh, is divisible by 2 yes so 12 will come in the output so like this only uh, only the numbers that are returning true will be printed so uh, this is how the filter function works so this is what a filter function does so it will only return those values from the iterable only those values from the iterable that are returning true in the given function and i hope uh, this is clear so uh, let's do one thing let's change i modulo 2 to i modulo 3 and let's see what the output will be and now as you can see the output only uh, those numbers from the list are printed that are divisible by 3 so this is how a filter function works i hope you all understood all the three functions properly map reduce and filter and if this video helped you in any way do consider subscribing to my channel because i post a lot of such videos and thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe thank you bye